Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I'm Dr. Ganguly, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to make a video on how to go from postdoc position to an industry position. And uh, this is an important topic because as many of you know, there are only a limited number of positions out there in the academic system, in the university system, as far as faculty positions are concerned. And therefore, it's very likely that many people who are doing postdoc today will have to look for positions in the corporate sector. Now, one of the advantages you have as a postdoc is that the PhD degree is behind you. And this is a greatly liberating experience because now you have the degree and therefore you can approach a prospective company with your PhD degree. Now this is a problem which often constrains many people who are doing the PhD program because they keep thinking they are going to finish the PhD in January or August or sometime in the year but actually neither they nor their PhD supervisor is really sure when they are really going to finish their PhD. So again most employers do not like to have a situation like this where a person is saying yeah I'll finish my PhD by December but really he doesn't know when he's going to finish so this is a huge advantage of having a postdoc so what all should you do to get a job in the industry the uh, number one thing is you, you need to figure out how to write a resume so essentially if you have written a CV at this stage of your life your resume is not going to be very different from your CV but it's going to have some more detail about the work you have done the projects you have done rather than about just the papers you have published so in a typical academic CV we write the path we have taken the positions we have got the papers we have published and so on but in a resume you actually need to list out the different things you have accomplished so it's not that the people are going to look at your papers and figure out from the titles as to what you have done you need to exactly lay out what you have done so for example if you have developed algorithms to solve certain problems you need to list out the different algorithms you have used the problems you have solved and so on now if you have a long publication list you can always give a link to your google scholar you can give only selected publications which are relevant to the job so here you are not going to gain anything by trying to impress the committee people that you have a large list of publications maybe you have 10 or 20 papers what's important is that some of these papers are relevant to the job which you are applying for so again look into that now the next thing I would say is that typically when people apply for postdoc positions they are concerned about the rank of the university the advisor who is going to guide them and so on and these things matter if you are going to apply to a faculty positions in fact they matter a lot but if you are applying for a corporate position what matters is the problem you are doing or the project you are doing so make your research as close to industrial applications as possible so here I would say that try to work on fields which are industry friendly whether it is something to do with computers and mathematics whether it is something to do with machine learning, high performance computing, pharmaceuticals, molecular biology or any kind of field which you see that there is a continuous movement of people from PhD and postdoc to the company and the industry positions. So you will be able to figure this out and remember that even if you have done a PhD on something else you can always make a jump to a postdoc and do work in one of these fields so remember math plus computer is good skill to have now the next point is you should have a few publications under your belt and typically one paper is enough as far as corporate jobs is concerned now here they are not going to look at your paper and look at the depth of your research and so on they are mostly going to look at the competence in terms of your communication skills in terms of your doing research putting it all together making a good document by summarizing all the aspects of your problem by making good graphs and so on so again publications of course shows that you have competence in your field so always keep that in mind that 
the company people are not so impressed by the rank of the university or by the name and recognition of your PhD or postdoc supervisor but rather by what you have done and therefore you can start looking at each of your papers as a completed project and so essentially it also shows that you have very good skills in project management so essentially the fact that you were able to do the research you were able to write it out and publish a paper is a very important project management skill and it also shows good writing and communication skills now the next thing is conference presentation so i always encourage people to give conference presentations because it forces you to make powerpoint presentations and present your work and this skill is very important because in companies the transfer of knowledge and information takes place through powerpoint presentations rather than through papers which is the case in the university and academic system so essentially if you have had some experience in presenting papers that will always be good if you can find some people from corporate sector in your presentation session make it a point to know them so again networking is going to be helpful these people can help you down the road in getting a job because they have already seen your presentation and so on so again hone your presentation skills in terms of making presentations at conferences or even if you are presenting your thesis work somewhere try to do a very good job on it so you are good at presenting such stuff so the next thing is you need to give up your tunnel vision so one of the problems which precludes many phd's and postdocs from getting industry job is they talk in a manner which is very one dimensional so some guy may spend a lot of time discussing the novelty of the uncertainty quantification method he has used how he has not taken normal distribution how he has gone for log normal distribution and all these things but he is not able to put this work in a larger context of say probability and statistics or in the context of doing this whole uncertainty quantification to help the design process or to improve reliability of systems so again it's very important to look at a problem in terms of the concept which you are using the mathematical models or the empirical models you are using the data which you are using so typically most data is in the form of vectors matrices or tensors how you are manipulating these data and the algorithms you are using so again try to look at your problem try to detach from it and see it from a more larger pers perspective now the next point is that in a company if you present some concept they are going to ask you to actually prototype it and to prototype this concept you are going to need python and you are going to essentially need a set of libraries such as numpy you are going to need pandas you are going to need scikit learn and so on so i suggest that make yourself very comfortable in all these pieces of software they are all easy they are all free there are a lot of resources in google where you can get information on panda scikit learn python numpy matlab plotlib and so on now what happens is that nowadays if you join any big company like even google or meta or so on and you say that you can do some novel concept in terms of say data science they are going to ask you okay that sounds good why don't you show us some results so you need to be able to quickly write a program in python and then bring up graphs in matplotlib and show these things to people so that's a skill which is going to be very useful to you so these are some points i hope which are useful to you in terms of your movement from postdoc to university position remember that there are a lot of valuable skills gained during the postdoc and phd process in terms of project management which is essentially the art of doing a problem and finishing it within a time bound situation and also in the art of manipulating data using algorithms so these skills are very much valued by the industry people and the capability of writing documents and making presentations is enormously valuable in the real world and phd's have a lot of formal training in this so i hope this video is useful to you again pardon the aircraft which keep flying around me i live close to an airport so that's part of the problem so i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then